We're here in Camp Randall Stadium following Penn State's 28-13 victory over the Wisconsin Badgers. The Badgers were coming in on a three-game winning streak, but the Nittany Lions sent them home with a, their first loss in three games. Uh, Drew Aller left after the first half with an injury. Bo Perula took over for the second, but regardless, Penn State still comes away with the win. Jalen Reed had a crucial pick six at, in the third quarter. Avery, what other takeaways did you kind of see from this one? I mean, you got to look at Bo Perula. I mean, he stepped in and he stepped in big. I mean, he made throws that I had never saw him see him make, like, ever. Like, I was not familiar with his game. I was just like, oh, Bo's going to come in and run and do this and do that. But he looks so comfortable in the offense. He, like, I know James Franklin talked about he had to talk to Cody Nicky and just tell him, like, you got to play to Bo's strength. But Bo actually looked like he was really good in Penn State's, you know, original offense. I mean, he was on the run making plays. He showed off his elusiveness a little different from Drew Aller because Drew Aller's obviously a bigger quarterback. He's not able to be as nifty and stuff like that. And, I mean, even talking to the players after, they were like, we've seen this from him week after week. So, I mean, I think it was just testament of, like, what he can do. And he's proven that he can be a starting quarterback somewhere in the country. Yeah, I think it's big. Bo kind of showed tonight Penn State has two quarterbacks that could be starters. I mean, Drew was 14 of 18 before he had to uh, leave with injury. So it was going to be a huge day for him. And then Bo obviously had his big day as well. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, though, Wisconsin was coming in averaging 194 rushing yards a game. Penn State limited them to just 81 today. Tawi Walker had just 2.7 yards a carry. It was a big day. We kind of talked to the defense this week, asked them if run defense was kind of a big point of emphasis. And they were kind of like, well, it's just any other game. But like, yes, you know, they had just given up 100, almost 190 yards to USC on the ground. So a complete turnaround. The bye week, definitely something they focused on. But another slow start for Penn State. Went down, uh, was down by three at the half, their third their third time this season being down at the half. Avery, do you think this is going to be a problem moving forward? Do you think they kind of are going to fix this by next week? Yeah, I mean, you think you're seven, you're seven games in. I think every single game off the top of my head has started with a slow start in some way, whether it's a turnover or you're just down at half or something like that. So I do think it will continue. Obviously, it is a problem. And, I mean, I've been saying every week that they need to stop starting slow because it's going to turn around and kind of bite them. So it's like, you know, but they did come out with a win. I mean, so, I mean, I think it'll be an impact. Play, have an impact come Ohio State, but I do think that their second half surges will help them. I mean, Ohio State is also a team that notoriously starts slow, so we'll kind of see how that shapes out. But again, you still don't want to go down, especially big to Ohio State. These are teams that obviously Penn State was a favorite for. Um, we'll see how the lines shake out for next week, so yeah. Some other key injuries denied Dennis Sutton is uh, did go down with an injury in the first half, played the first snap of the second half on defense, of course, and then immediately went back out. So uh, his status will be something to monitor going forward into Ohio State. And also starting right tackle Anthony Donko also went out with injury. Nolan Rucci played the rest of the game at that spot. So three key injuries to starters heading into the biggest game of Penn State season. So that's something to keep an eye on moving forward. But regardless, Penn State is 7-0, and 1-0 this week. And Ohio State's coming to town next week. Yeah, big game coming. College game day probably, so. We'll see. We'll see.